Here's problem 10, 14. The rigid body shown is rotated by an axis perpendicular to the paper and through point P. The total kinetic energy of the object as it rotates is equal to 1.4 joules. If M is 1.3 kilograms and L is 0.5 meters, what is the angular velocity of the object? Neglect the mass of the connecting rods and treat the masses as particles. So we're going to neglect the masses of the rods and just treat the system as these four point masses. And in general, if we're looking for kinetic energy, that's going to be equal to one half the moment of inertia times the angular velocity squared. If I can write this right. And so if we use this formula here, we can focus in, find the moment of inertia, and then we can solve for the angular velocity. So that's our plan. So let's find the moment of inertia first. Now the moment of inertia should be equal to the summation of every mass multiplied by its distance from the axis of rotation squared. We have four masses here, and our axis of rotation is right here at point P. So, this should be equal to, we have an M located at a distance L away. So we have an M L squared. And we have another M on the other side, also located at a distance L away. So we have a M L squared for that. We have a 2M located at a distance L divided by 2 away. So we'll have a 2m with a l divided by 2 squared. And then we have another 2m, if I can fit it in here, and it, that's a distance l divided by 2 squared as well. So this is going to equal ml squared plus ml squared, which would be 2ml squared plus and then we have a 2m times l squared over 4 plus a 2m times l squared over 4. So this is 2ml squared plus 1 half ml squared plus 1 half ml squared. So we have 3ml squared is our moment of inertia for this object. So that is equal to 3 times 1.3 kilograms for M times 0.5 for L squared. And if I do that, 3 times 1.3 times 0.5 squared, I get 0 0.975 kilogram meter squared. That is the moment of inertia of this system about point P. Well, we want to say that the uh, kinetic energy is one half the moment of inertia times angular velocity squared. So if we multiply both sides by 2, divide by the moment of inertia, and take the square root, the angular velocity should equal 2 times the kinetic energy divided by the moment of inertia square root. So that's going to be 2 times 1.4 joules divided by 0.975 kilogram meter square, which we just found, square root. If I do that, I get 1.69 radians per second. So that is our angular velocity for this system of masses, 1.69 radians per second.